there is so much this is just if there is so much glory in John 3:16 we solve a lot more of that in another module but uh, every detail in the story of God is for the glory of Jesus equals 8 at 8 including the names of people that were there with that specific name by divine ordinance for the glory of Jesus equals 8 at 8 and who is the first man to hear the famous words not John 3:16 this is the most famous verse in the entire Bible by a strong factor and most translated and most famous in all the world. Who was the first man to hear Jesus speak those words? And why was he named the way that he was? His name is Nicodemus. Nicodemus was the first man to hear Jesus speak John 3.16. Well, why this name? The root of his name is the word Nike in Greek. Nike, which means victory. Victory. And amazingly, Nike in Greek equals 88 exactly. Bang on the nose. So, and it means victory. Nike equals 88, which means victory. Folks, and I, that is also why the Nike brand is the most successful sports and athletics brand in all the world. It's because it glorifies the Word of God. The Word of God, Nike is a Greek word in the New Testament. It means victory, and the numbers could not be any more glorious. It adds up to 88 perfectly. 88 to the glory of Jesus equals 888. That is why Nike is such a triumphant brand, and why it is emblazoned on the chest and back and, and shorts of ev nearly every single athlete that plays in just about every single sport around the world. It means victory. And the number is 88 exactly to the glory of Jesus equals 8 today. It glorifies the king numerically in his word. And therefore, it is blessed, whether you like it or not. <laughs> and um, f straight from the word of God, though. It is straight from the word of God. The first man to hear John 3.16, his name is Nicodemus. In the Greek, Nike. <clears throat> there you have it. Hallelujah. Just another little gem in the story of God. Keep watching all these videos. We solve John 3.16 and the whole story of God in all these videos like a flood. Amen. And just another tidbit about this word Nike, which is 88. Watch this, how 88 breaks down. This is level 2. 88 equals 8 times 11. And 11 deduces to 1 by the law of prime. 11 what is called a unitary prime. That is, it deduces to 1 by the law of prime. And we detail that in another module. And so you are left with 8 as the shining star. 8. Just like that. Just like that. 11 is a prime number. You apply the law of prime recursively, and it deduces to 1. That's called a unitary prime. They are more rare, but you see how the number 88 is exceedingly glorious, because first of all, written in full, it's a double 8. And then when you break it down, you get 8 times 11. Since 11 is a unitary prime, 11 deduces to 1 and you are left with eight all by its lonesome. So, Nike, in Greek, meaning victory, is extremely to the glory of Jesus, equals eight at eight. And this is why the Nike brand is on the chest of nearly every top athlete on earth today. And by divine ordinance, just one of many examples, we saw God ordain a man named Michael Phelps to win exactly eight gold medals at the 2008 Beijing Olympics, swimming in a pool of eight lanes, no less. And uh, he, in every single gold medal ceremony, he has Nike on his chest. Nike on his tracksuit, Nike on his shoes. It's just the way that it is, folks. Jesus takes the glory for everything numerically once your eyes are open to it. Uh, this entire story, even into modern history, all around the world, he is taking the glory for everything that happens by himself mathematically. His name is stamped on every single victor, every single champion. Um, my goodness, his name is all over every single human body. Your body is so stamped with eight, it's not even funny. And we, we solve human anatomy in another module. Every single person who has ever lived glorifies Jesus just by being alive and breathing element eight to stay alive. So have your eyes open to the fact that God does everything for this one number and his one and only son, Jesus, who equals that number. And um, absolutely, businessmen out there, uh, 
men, men of business, men uh, who, who love numbers and, and love to create and invent, you name things. You name your business. You name your products. You name your goods and services. Numbers, numerically, from the Word of God that glorify Jesus equals 8 at 8. And you watch. You watch how he will always bless that which is done for his son Jesus. Whatever you do for Jesus, he will be, will be blessed. Hallelujah. Name, name, your, name your goods and services. Name your business with eights in it. Name it Greek and Hebrew words that glorify this number eight. And say that you do it for Jesus. Say that you explicitly do it for Jesus equals eight a day. And you watch how he blesses you. Hallelujah. Nike is by far the most famous sports brand in all the world. And will most likely continue to be that way. Um, because it really hits it right on the nose. It hits the number eight. Bingo. Right on the nose. Here's, here's how it's written in Greek. Just so you can see it with your own eyes. Um, it is written exactly like this. Here are, the, here are the letters in Greek for Nike. There they are, right there. I'm going to blow that up so you can see them a little better. N-I-K This is a E, a hard E sound. Nike E. It's exactly four letters in Greek. Four is a factor of eight. Furthermore, it ends in eight. This is eight right here. This last letter is eight. And so the first, the first three letters are 80. And then the final letter is 8. This is a gorgeous word in Greek. Like, the Nike company really hit it on the head. And folks, you know what it is? It's, it's like companies of the world and, and men have, have just, you know, tried random words and, you know, come, just tried things and they've been successful. Well, you know, there's no chance to it. The truth is, you're glorifying the Word of God and his name is Jesus, whose name is called the Word of God, and he has a number to his name, triple eight. So here's the word Nike, straight out of the Bible. The first three letters add to 80 exactly. The last letter is 8 exactly. It's an exceedingly 8-loaded word. It means victory. Hence, every time someone says the word Nike for the brand, it glorifies Jesus equals 888. And um, so his stamp is on nearly every single athlete. You turn on... TSN or ESPN or any sports channel, you watch the Olympics, you, uh, you follow your favorite athlete in whatever sport it is, nine times out of ten, it's practically <laughs> that, that much, folks. The majority of the time, they will have a, a Nike stamped on them, which, which uh, absolutely <laughs> brings glory to Jesus equals 888, mathematically, from the Bible. And... Um, so just so you can see the letters for yourself, though, this is 50, this is 10, this is 20. That adds up to 80 perfectly. And then the last letter is, is 8 to really uh, hit it home. And um, my goodness, so this is at the root of the name of the man who Jesus first spoke John 3.16 to. Are you, are you seeing how epic this word victory is? John 3.16 is the most famous verse in the entire Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Well, Jesus spoke those words to a man named Nicodemus. And his name means, uh, this. the first part is victory. This part means people. People. And you can decipher what his full name would mean as a combination of those two things, victory and people. Um, most interpret conqueror or... Uh, or uh, you know, helper of the people, or ruler of the people. But the the beginning of his name is victory, victory Nike. <sighs> and let's just um, um, show off a little picture here um, of what God ordained at the two thousand and eight Olympics, and. Um, if I can pull up a decent picture here. Well, God ordained at the 2008 Olympics uh, and also at the London Games. This is for shot from the London Games of our, uh, the great Michael Phelps and his team here, all emblazoned with Nike, 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 to the glory of Jesus equals 888. And that is simply by divine ordinance, folks. And um, 
Let's pull up one from the Beijing 2008 Olympics. And here you have it, folks. Here is the, um, the great Michael Phelps by Divine Ordnance receiving one of his eight medals at the 2008 Beijing Olympics with the word Nike sitting right there, right on the front of his chest for everyone to see. That's to the glory of Jesus equals 888. Absolutely. It glorifies the word of God. It glorifies Jesus. Therefore, it is prosperous and it is blessed. Nike on the chest of Michael winning eight gold medals by divine ordinance at the 080808 Olympics opened on the eighth month, eighth hour, eighth day. And he stood on that podium eight times to receive his eight gold medals. Nike equals victory. It equals 88 exactly numerically. It's all to the glory of Jesus equals 888. I recommend that you absolutely go buy yourself a pair of Nikes and a Nike t-shirt and whip your body into shape to the glory of God. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. Laden yourself with eight stamped branding, eight stamped clothing. And I recommend businessmen and companies of the world to name their products and name their companies loaded with eight to the glory of Jesus equals 888 and explicitly tell everyone that you do it for the glory of Jesus equals 888, the Son of God, and you watch how the God of the universe blesses your business and blesses your your marketing and blesses the promotion of your of your uh, brand which you say specifically you intended you made to glorify Jesus equals 888 just like the Nike brand does this brand the most famous sports brand in the world worn by more gold medalists worn by more um, star athletes God's children in all the world equals 88 in Greek and that is to the glory of Jesus equals 888 so I absolutely recommend you get yourself a sweet set of Nikes and whip your body into shape to the glory of Jesus equals 888 and um, most of all have your eyes open to the fact that God does everything in the entire universe to this day and from the dawn of Eden he does everything to glorify his one and only son Jesus equals 888 his son has one number God loves the number 8 like crazy you do whatever you can to glorify Jesus equals 888 and you you watch God have some fun with you hallelujah praise Jesus praise Jesus hallelujah oh I'm on fire here someone someone say this is good preaching give us more of this you just keep watching all these videos and be amazed at how God does everything for Jesus equals 888 and then know that you can be a part of the program you can enter into this river you can enter in to the gift of God in 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 using numbers in uh, glorifying Jesus equals 888 in whatever you do absolutely and watch how God uh, <laughs> looks down upon it and says that is awesome they're glorifying my son numerically brilliant I'll bless that endeavor so um, let's uh, let's keep unloading this treasure house. The entire story of the universe is a giant, exciting treasure hunt for Jesus equals eight eight eight. And uh, keep watching. Keep your eyes open for it everywhere because it's everywhere. Keep watching these videos and delight yourself in the revelation and the truth of God. Amen.